Hello guys and a very warm welcome back to the channel once again for this latest Sandship episode. Thanks for joining us. We were hoping to bring you a fantastic Underworld design, but we're having a few issues with the stability of the Underworld at the moment. We've generated a couple of really good ones, but then once we come back in to log into the game, the outputs are varying wildly and it's causing a few fluctuations. And of course, we want to bring you the best stable design we can. So we'll keep plugging away. Hopefully those issues will get patched soon enough. But today we're going to be going into exactly how you build the rocket turrets. They're a great addition to any underworld design, but they can be a bit complex to make. So we're going to run through exactly how you set these up and how to get them online. So the very first thing, if you've not already unlocked them, you need to go to your skill tree and you will see that under level 13, you've got the explosives research. Now, all the rocket turret elements are unlocked in this one research item, so you don't need to unlock any others to get them to work. And as you can see here, we've got the gunpowder, the rocket and the rocket turrets themselves, all three levels. So once you've got that unlocked, you can go straight into your underwell and start to construct these rockets. So after diving into our underwell, here we are guys. We're going to show you exactly how we set up our rocket turrets and incorporate them into our designs. So as we can't bring in any materials through importers, we need to see what we need to make in order to craft those rockets. So as you can see, we're going to need some gunpowder and some steel pipes. So we're going to keep these designs really simple and start off with our synthesizers to craft the steel pipes. One is going to be iron, one is going to be carbon. We're going to heat these up and then straight into our mixer here. Now in order to make the steel pipes, we need to first craft them into steel plates. Use our grabber into the mechanical assembler, selecting that steel pipe recipe. And we're going to need another grabber and another mechanical assembler in order to get those steel pipes in and start crafting those rockets. Now I did say we needed two elements in order to craft this and the other element is gunpowder. If we go into our glossary we can see we need both carbon powder and sulfur powder to make the gunpowder itself. So again we're going to need two more synthesizers here. Straight into our crushers. And then we're going to need a mixer to bring it all together. And finally, another fast grabber transporting that gunpowder into the mechanical assembler to craft that rocket. So once those rockets are produced, you're going to place down another fast grabber to export them into the rocket turret itself. Now we've selected a level one rocket turret here. And as you can see, the stats are pretty minimal at this stage. But if we upgrade them a couple of times, you can actually see the damage is very good. It's not as high as the gun turret, but the unique thing about this rocket turret is it can do splash damage against multiple targets. So you can hit lots of drifters at once if you're under a lot of pressure, which is great. So a couple of these in your defense will really make a difference. Now we've got that all switched on and we're just going to change our synthesizers to the correct inputs. Now if we place down a resonator, so as you can see guys, that's all you need to do to get your rocket turret up and running. What we're going to do now is just put a steel wall perimeter around this design just to add a bit of protection and show you the rocket turret in action. I'm going to turn this on. As you can see, we're producing our blue everstone. And our rocket turret is beginning to fire on those drifters. As we said before, it does splash damage, so it's hitting several drifters at once. And this can be especially beneficial for when you get to those later stages where lots of drifters are coming at once. Other thing to note is it's got much more range than the gun turrets. So if you design these a little bit further back, they can still hit from a really good range, which is an extra benefit of these defenses. So I hope this video has helped you out, guys. If you were struggling to get these gun turrets online, this is a very simple way to craft those steel pipes and gunpowder into those rockets to get the ammunition they need. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. But until next time, bye bye.